Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. So, what am I using? Today, um, I'm kind of happy to be bringing you this soap because I've been looking at it for a while and somewhat reluctant to pull the trigger, but I pulled the trigger and after smelling it, I'm happy that I did. This is Contemplation by Declaration Grooming. Um, why did I do this? More recently, I found um, there's a few tallow soaps out there that I think probably are at the top of performance when it comes to soap bases. Uh, Holy Cool, Noble Otter, this one, I put Oleo up there as well. I, I, of course, I was yet to try this one and I feel the need to, for me to try them all, I want to find the best ones. And I've done quite a few, I've started ranking them and kind of when I've done them all, all soap bases, popular ones anyway, I'm gonna kind of release a video of my top soap bases, but yeah, really uh, looking forward to kind of using this today. It's, it's been a while I've been looking at this and yeah, I decided to pull the trigger as I said. Uh, the scent of this is actually quite nostalgic to me. When I was a kid, uh, I used to, well, that wasn't long ago, I'm not very old, but when I was a bit younger, uh, during the summer, I used to kind of go up to this field and play football and this field, was kind of in the, it was in the middle of the city, but it smelled like it was in the middle of nowhere, you know? It smelled citrusy, it smelled like the transition from spring to summer, and this soap smells exactly like that. So as soon as I smelled it, all those kind of, in, like, I'd say young memories came back to me, and I'm really, really looking forward to kind of seeing how this lathers and kind of going from there. So I've got some bloom water here. I've been blooming the puck. I don't know how soft it is. I probably should have checked. But, oh man, that, that scent is, uh, yeah, it, it, that's just how it smells to me. Okay, uh, so for the brush to make everything fair based on kind of the specific, let's get this to focus. This is my Wolf Whiskers Custom with a black wolf knot. Um, the design is called Zen Garden, I believe. And my razor of the moment, I'm going to be shaving with the Carve Shaving Co. Christopher Bradley, and inside that is a second use Persona Lab Blue. Um, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna prep my face, uh, kind of get the bloom water, not using any pre-shave for kind of the soap base reviews, I guess. I think it's unfair, I wanna see what slickness is like without pre-shave. I've got about two and a half days to three days growth here, so looking forward to knowing that down. I'll see you guys for the first pass. I'll see you in a sec. So let's uh, lather up for our first pass. On my face at the moment is the uh, loose soap from the puck and uh, bloom water. Okay, scent strength on this one. Out of the puck, I'd say Five or six. As it hits the face, I'd actually say it probably gets a bit stronger. Uh, maybe high six, seven. So quite strong. Uh, the scent notes remain fairly similar. Uh, I get quite a lot of citrus. Very fresh. So before doing this, I have no preconceived notions on how to create a lather with this base. I've heard it's very good. A high structure lather, very slick. So, my aim really is just to keep adding water into it until I don't think it can take any more. And uh, this may take a bit because I loaded quite heavy. So be patient with me if you if you will.
There we go, starting to spring into life now. That's uh, what I want. So the approach to this is quite interesting. Um, it has both uh, cow tallow, so beef tallow, and uh, lamb tallow. Two types of tallow, some goat's milk. There's quite a lot of excellent ingredients. I'll put the ingredients in the uh, description. It's getting there, the peaks are forming. Let's add, try and add some more water. Uh, try and get everything on the neck and kind of redistribute it. So I'm going to do that as kind of a skim the top of the knot here. I mean, if you can see that, that's a nice consistency. Yeah, I think we're almost there. Just paint on now. Kind of layer the soap. The smell is absolutely lovely. Um, so I got this from Magard. I was, I was looking around for a while where to get it. It was sold out on the Declaration Grooming website. It was sold out on West Coast Shaving where I buy a lot of my stuff. Um, kind of disappointed looking for a place to find it. and. My guard had some in stock, and he said it hadn't been selling very well. Contrary to the rest of the website, where it's sold out almost completely, I thought, you know, I'll pick some up, because frankly, the scent sounds good, and I've been wanting to try the soap base for a while. So let's uh, have a look at the peaks. Yep. That's where we want it. So let's smooth all this out. Okay, so initial impressions, it could take quite a bit of water, um, which is good because water equals slickness and slickness is great, as we all know. Um, okay, so let's wet the razor here. I've been doing cold water shaves recently and I'm going to stick to that trend. So we're going to go um, with the grain on our first pass. Okay, that's very slick. Very slick. Um, just first couple of strokes is about as slick as holy cool. Scent, scent strength on the face is lovely. Just kind of in between. Nothing too overpowering. Yeah, this is a very good soap base. This is the Icarus soap base. Kind of as that, as I said, lots of amazing ingredients. So I suggest you check out the uh, description. I've been posting my thoughts on a. Uh, the different soap bases I've been trying on my Instagram. So find the link to my Instagram below and you can kind of follow that. It 
So, based on my ranking, the initial impressions to this, uh, this is at least number three. Uh, number three at the moment being the Glisson base by uh, Barrister and Mann. But for me, it's kind of like a overall performance, residual slickness. Post-shave fill, that sort of thing. It's incredibly slick. Um, I can give it that. We're spoiled for choice now with software. We really are. Um, to be fair, so we are with razors as well, but you know. I hope you're enjoying uh, the new quality I've brought to the channel in terms of my videos. I've been uh, released my last few video, well, my last video, where I bought the review of this razor in a four K sixty fps. Hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to keep going with that for a bit. Kind of see whether there's any diminishing returns because I'll tell you something. For anyone that knows how video rendering works, it took a long time, and uh, I don't have a weak source computer either. My computer's pretty good. Um, okay, so I'm not going to do kind of all the cuts here. I want to kind of run water over my face and feel residual slickness. Let me do that. Uh, so I had a bit of a feeling in my face just now, and you're probably going to see quite the reaction from me because I can I think it feels excellent. So, stop. Jeez, that is residually slick. So look at this. I'm going to put close up, close up to you. No skipping, no skip, slick all the way through. That's what I'm looking for. Slather up for our second pass. Oh, but, uh, but honestly, I've really been enjoying using these soaps these past few days. And, uh, <sighs> it's uh, only a pleasure again to use this guy. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I've been really enjoying shaving these past few weeks. Have your shaves been going? Any new gear on the way? Um, I think I'm kind of done for a while. I'm I'm gonna be knowing me. I'm probably gonna purchase a lot of big big shave swest. So I'm gonna try and chill until I uh go there. Let's um let's let's do the dip the tips test and see how much more lather I can get out of this. Yep, loads. <laughs> Man, that's a good soap. That's a very good soap. So I live in Albuquerque, and anyone that knows about uh, kind of water hardness in the US, Albuquerque has some of the hardest water. And uh, these soaps I've been using this past week, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just been laughing at the hard water. Oh, hard water? Nice to meet you. My, my name is uh, the Icarus base. Or the Holy Call base, which is uh, also definitely my top three. This is a fantastic soap. Um, anyone that hasn't had the pleasure again to use this, my top three at the moment consist of uh, this, so the Icarus base, the Noble Otter base, and the Holy Call base, all tallow based soaps. Maybe a coincidence, maybe not. Uh, we're going to go across the grain on this pass. Mega slick. Slick, loads of slickness. Yeah, that's, well, um, that might be slicker than Holy Cool off the bounce.
Again, we'll check for residual slickness. Showing off of shaving for a sec, my uh, George, who you've seen before. Had to uh, go in for some surgery. He's uh, He had a, her, oh, it's called an oral hematoma on his left ear. And uh, we needed to kind of take him in to get that reduced. Poor guy is wearing a uh, cone of shame <laughs> at the moment, not enjoying it. Uh, it's funny because he's because he's a basset hound. Anyone that has had hounds or knows anything about hounds, they have their nose to the floor pretty much all of the time because they're sniffing. He cannot do that very well at the moment, and uh, I think it's pissing him off quite a bit. Can't say I blame him, I think I'd be kind of annoyed with a big cone on my hand as well, so. This is an excellent soap. Okay, that's a... Uh, no cuts, wash off the face hair and fill for residual slickness again. Probably going to do a clean up pass, but we'll see. Tell me if you prefer it without the cuts, by the way, because I normally do that to save time, but if you guys don't care, then I won't, because frankly, it's less effort for me. Okay. Speed around. That feels very good. Um, residual slickness test. No, uh, no skipping. Not quite as residually slick as uh, Holy Cool. Um, cleanups. Bit under here. Usual spots, really, bit here. So what I like to do with my cleanups, I do one pass against the grain on my neck. By one pass, I don't go over it again, so. Because, who cares if you mess? It's uh, not the end of the world. do and then the neck this part of my neck is always a pain to be honest Okay. Face feels very moisturized, feels very good. Uh, let's extract all the lather from the brush. Build our face wash. It's not bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go away, kind of apply this to my face, wash it off, and I will see you guys for the post shave. See you in a sec. Hey guys, uh, it's post shave time. 
Go ahead, play around to see. We'll have a feel around, feel the face. Yep, that feels great. Very moisturised. No irritation. Very moisturised. That soap is good, I'm telling you. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so for our post shave today, we're only going to be using one thing. And uh, another addition to the den, uh, I watch a lot of different YouTubers. In this case, specifically, another cut above with Chris. And um, he swears by this stuff. This is male grooming and this is Heliop Terrace. This is a their take on a Fougere scent. And I'll tell you something, the scent strength of these aftershaves are like an eight or a nine. You, you do not want too much of it. Oh man. It's actually quite similar to the soap. But uh, with this, there's more of a fern note. Oh wow. Okay, so again, don't overuse it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do three. One. That's about two, three. Really, all you need is about that much, if you can see, probably not. Wow, that's scent strength. Absolutely excellent. Um, these shaves are getting better and better. The more I kind of expand my horizons and use different soaps. The soap today was excellent. I'll show you. Let me be right back. I'll show you everything I used. Okay, I'm back. Uh, here's the soap. So we used Declaration Grooming. Contemplation today is our soap. Our brush today was our Wolf Whiskers Zen Garden Custom with a Black Wolf Knot. And our razor of choice today was, in my opinion, one of the best razors on the market. And this is the Calf Shaving Co. Christopher Bradley razor with the B plate and a Persona Lab Blue. Um, yeah, that's our shave today. That's the video down too. If you guys are enjoying these videos and you haven't yet subscribed, really appreciate a subscription from you. Apart from that, have a very good weekend. It's your, it's your Jack host. It's your host Jack from the Virtual Groom Room. Goodbye for now.